adequate notice of this meeting was provided to the Westfield Leader advertised on January 9, 2014. Notification was sent to the Star Ledger and prominently posted on the Municipal Public Bulletin Board and filed in the office of the Municipal Clerk, informing the public of the time and place according to the provisions of the Open Public Meeting Law, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975. At this time, please make sure that you have your cell phones and blackberries uh, turned off uh, or on vibrate. And if you must take the call, we remind you to take it out in the hall. Roll call, please, Ms. Ariana. Councilman President Palmer? Here. Councilman Martin? Here. Councilman Matthew? Here. Councilman Nierstead? Here. Councilman Fisher Zelli? Here. And Councilman Tisco? Here. Oh, I'm here too. Oh, Pat, you know what I wrote that thing? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're not on there because you don't vote. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Right. Uh, minutes, please, Ms. Ariana. Regular meeting of the Mayor Council held on January 28th, 2014. Works such as the Mayor Council on January 28th, 2014. Are there any corrections or changes? May I have a motion to accept the minutes as presented? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as presented, then. May I have sure. a second? Second. Ms. Ariana, communications, please. New Jersey State Leading Municipality, Mayor's Tax Advisory. Received the five. And Kenneth Newton, Raritan Valley Rail Coalition. Received and filed. Ordinance. We'll have a public hearing on ordinance 14 01 as advertised in the Westfield Leader on January 23, 2014, and ordinances 14 02 and 14 03 as advertised in the Westfield Leader on January 30, 2014. Ms. Ariana, please read ordinance 14 01 by title only. An ordinance fixing the salaries and wages of certain officials and employees of the Borough of Guard in County of Union State, New Jersey. Uh, do we have any correspondence concerning Ordinance 14-01? None, Mayor. Does anyone wish to be, does anyone present wish to be heard uh, concerning Ordinance 14-01? May I have a motion to close the public hearing on Ordinance 14-01? So moved. May I have a second? Second. May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 14-01? I'll make a motion to adopt Ordinance 14-01 there. May I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion Council? Yeah, I just have a couple questions. Um, <clears throat> so this is a this is for a 1.75% raise to the chief's salary. Is that the percentage for the raise? Uh, yes, that is the associated percentage. Okay, for that. And the, then the, the of course, this is just adjusting the range uh, to make that possible. But the actual salary is one hundred twenty-six thousand four hundred ninety dollars. Correct. Okay, and that, and that represents a one point seventy-five percent increase from twenty. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I'm inclined uh, at least to table this, if not vote against it. Um, I don't understand why we're doing this uh, out of order with all, all the rest of the non-contractual employees. Um, one of the things that I'm concerned about is the budget's not finalized. We don't know what the tax hit is yet. Um, we also don't know if we can afford the raise. Um, and that's one of the things that I would really like to know beforehand. Also, uh, I don't know whether or not um, we're going to hire a new police officer and when. Um, so for those reasons, I don't understand why we can't put this back to when, because we have to amend the same ordinance again. Um, why we can't put this back to consider this with all the other employees and also just the fact that it's kind of being airdropped and being, this is a discretionary part of the budget that's being voted on outside the consideration of the budget. Um, I don't know how anyone can actually vote on this without knowing the tax impact and what other trade-offs have to be made in, the, in a larger budget. So I think we should at least table this. Um, um, if, I'm sorry, Councilman, I just want to interject. Sure. This ordinance does not authorize any raises. The resolution on the agenda tonight does authorize one raise, but adopting this resolution uh, ordinance does not authorize any increases in salaries for any employees. 
with that being said, do you want to, should we have this discussion now or at the resolution specifically for the raise? I'm okay with answering the questions either way. But um, I don't know what's more, <coughs> if one is more appropriate than the other. Um, I, and I would say for, um, in response to one question that I think is definitely um, in conjunction with this ordinance, uh, this would not um, have to get amended for other raises to non-union workers. The Finance Committee spoke with Ms. Ariema and also in finding out on her part that the Chief's potential raise of 1.75% meant that the salary range needed to be adjusted. Um, she was also asked to explore just to make sure we didn't have to do it twice, not that these will be recommended or anything, um, up to a 1.5, a 1.75 percent rate. So just so you know, we wouldn't have to amend this a second time in the same year. Okay. Can I suggest that we get back on the right track, which is sure. that this is an ordinance which is up for second reading. This is the public hearing. Um, I did hear what sounded almost like a motion to table. Um, yeah, actually, I make the motion to table. Okay. And I didn't hear a second to the motion. Um, but if there is a second for the motion at the table, then there would be a, a discussion. Actually, no motion at the table. There really doesn't have a discussion. Then, we'd have a, uh, then we would have a vote on that motion. Otherwise, we should proceed with the public hearing and then debate. We did the public hearing already. Right yeah, we closed the public hearing already. All right, so we're on. Discussion of the council. Yeah, they, they made a motion to adopt it. I right, think second. So I, is more discussion where next is roll call. I bring it back to the, the we have the motion to table. I think. Yes, he did make a motion to table, correct. And uh, uh, that that motion is pending right now. Yeah. I'll second that motion for discussion. You, you're, not, you're seconding the motion to table the ordinance or discuss it. You are no, discussing. No, I, I, I understand. Yeah, I understand. You, are you I'm, seconding the motion I'm to table? I'm seconding the motion to table. Okay. That's so right. there is no more discussion than the ordinance to table. Right. No, now no. we have the vote on the motion. Okay, okay. 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 I need to capture this. Everybody slow down on this. So Councilman Matthew made a motion to table the ordinance, seconded by Councilman Newstead. Okay, go ahead. Then we'll have a discussion and then there will be a vote on that motion to table. Yeah, so we're not going to discuss the motion to table. The motion to table is not Do we vote on the motion? Oh, I just, I just call for a vote. vote. Okay. Vote. So a vote on the motion to table. Yes. Vote. Okay. Roll call, okay. please, Ms. Council. President Palmer? No. Um, Councilman Martin? No. Councilman Matthew? Aye. Councilman Neerstead? No. Councilman Pritchard's out? No. Councilman with the disco? No. Okay, that failed. Bob, so then. So now we're on the. We go back now to we're on the motion. We go back to the original. Motion, motion to adopt. It was already seconded. Yes. We had discussion. I had a motion on the table. Now, do we move into roll call for the motion to? If we're done with the discussion, yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Motion to table. Okay. Okay. Where, where are we now, though? The roll call? On that roll call at this point. Unless there's a discussion with regard to the motion. Um, I believe the discussion on the specific raise can wait until that, that, that item on the yes. consent agenda. Right. Is that correct? Yeah, because then that may be the. We're, we're, just, we're just authorizing the range. That's all we're doing. Right. So why wouldn't we just go ahead and do the range so we have it available? Right. 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 Am I correct on that? Well, on the, what? the proper time to discuss the actual 1.75 percent potential raise would be at the resolution the stage resolution under the agenda consent file. agenda. Well, you generally don't debate discuss resolutions that are on the consent agenda. I suppose if somebody removes it from the consent agenda, you can discuss then it. You can okay. All right. So right now, uh, the motion's been made. It's been seconded. We're, we've had discussion with regard to whether or not we're going to adopt this ordinance that's fixing salaries. That's all it's doing. We go through this discussion. We went through it last year. We went through it the year before. So, I'll um, be more the main second has been discussion. Roll call, please, on the motion to uh, fix the salaries and wages. Adopt. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Council President Palmer. Aye. Councilman Moore. Aye. Councilman Matthew. No. 
Councilman Nierstead? Yes. Councilman Petrozelli? Aye. And Councilman Tedisco? Aye. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next ordinance. Ms. Ariano, please leave read ordinance 14 dash 2 by title only. An ordinance to amend section 21 8, 21 8, two hour parking, section 21 8, stopping and standing prohibited, and section 21 8, 15 minute parking in article 1, traffic and parking in chapter 21, vehicles and traffic of the Code of the Borough Road, to revise certain parking restrictions in the vicinity of E Street, Beach Avenue, and Locust Avenue. Okay. Is there any correspondence with regard to ordinance 14 2 Does anyone present wish to be heard concerning ordinance 14 2 May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance 14 2 So moved. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion on ordinance 14 2 uh, Seeing any roll call, please, Ms. Harry. I'd like to make a motion to adopt. Oh, I'm ordinance. sorry. Yeah. I'll make a motion to adopt ordinance 1402. Second. All right, may I have, is there any discussion? I got ahead of myself there. Okay. Thank you. Roll call, please, Mr. President. Council President Palmer? Aye. Councilman Morton? Aye. Councilman Matthew? Aye. Councilman Nierstedt? Yes. Councilman Petrozelli? Aye. <laughs> The council went to disco. Oh, Aye. What's your name? All right. Okay. I don't know. Thank you. I got ahead of myself. All right. All right. Next order. Okay. An order is to amend 106-91. Yards in 106-91 single, single family residential zone RA zone. Yards <coughs> in 106-92 single family residential zone RA1 zone and 10693 yards and 10693 two family residential zone RB zone to amend restrictions on construction inside yards on corner lots and to add section H to 106-118 fences and walls to amend restrictions on fences on corner lots in article 8 zone regulations in chapter 106 land use for the code of the borough of Berlin. Ms. Ariana, is there any correspondence concerning ordinance 14-03? None there. Does anyone present wish to be heard concerning Ordinance 14 03? Yes, Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson, please read Ordinance 14 03. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Bruce Patterson, Little Lab in Garwood. You know, I, I, I listened to uh, Councilman Yearstead and uh, ex Councilman Steve Blouse that. Uh, Discussing this side yard, the pool is six foot and the side yard fence is four foot. I'm, I'm still confused if, if, that there seems to be a, a contradiction still. And I'm just looking at the back of the ordinance on 4H. It says on a corner lot, no fence other than an open fence, not more than four feet in height shall be permitted. And, and I agree because you and I talked about it at the planning board and, and it seemed to make sense because you didn't want that tunnel type look. But, but then, then the pool issue comes up where it requires a six foot fence and this I don't know if you resolve that but I mean we're still looking at a four foot fence on a corner lot but a pool requires a six foot fence so there seems to be a contradiction. Mayor may I respond? Yes you may. I think it's a very good point that, that Steve brought up okay because as I indicated as quite frankly you know you did not think of a pool at that time and does it put a restriction on a corner lot? Yes it does. But it doesn't prohibit a pool from being installed in a rear yard on a corner lot. Um, it would reduce the, the size of it. What, what you'd end up with is that pool could only be the width of the house. Okay. All right, that's, that's where to re restrict the pool to. Now that is if you wanted to have that pool up against the property line and that fence would then be right there. It'd be, it'd be right there. Yeah, and the so, shadow of the backyard, that's where the pool would be. And then the pool would be, you know, the rest of the yard. So it's not a contradiction. It, 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 if you wanted to have another fence around it, yeah, I understand you'd have a six-foot fence around the pool. Yeah, that's what council or around, Right, or around the rest of the property. <coughs> you know, again, I apologize to Steve for going back to his property. You know, he'd run a fence off the left rear corner of his house. 
over to the side property line, down the southern property line, along the western property line, up to the building line of the house, and then have a chance to go forward. And so the pool, the code already says that the pool has to be at least five feet off the property line. In this case, yes, there's a further restriction on the corner lot that you'd still have to provide that six foot fence. But even if that pool could be closer to the side property line, because the other section only allows, only requires a five foot, for instance, for your numbers, let's say it has a 10 feet off the sideline. The code would allow you to have that pool five feet further than the building line. Okay? So this code, this new provision would further restrict or reduce that pool to where it would have to be no further than the building line of the house and the pool would have to be right up against it. But it's not a contradiction, but it's a further restriction. Right. Can I say something there? Well, hang on. It might have been way too fast. Yeah, but is there a six-foot fence now required along, uh, again, the, the going towards the west on, on Steve's yard, along the sidewalk, along the street, each street? Would that be a six-foot fence? Or You're saying like even with the property line? Well, no, as you discussed, it was, it was so many feet off. You know, we had, we had to right away to the feet, right? That's what you're saying. If, 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 if Steve, if anybody in the corner lot wanted to put, wanted to install a pool, they would still be required to provide that six foot fence around that pool. So yes, they would still have a six foot fence from the corner of the house back to the western property line. Right, but by this ordinance, that four foot fence requirement. Because there, there is no four foot fence requirement. Four foot fence is totally up to you if you want to put up a fence or not. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree. But if you had a four foot fence, or you wanted to put up, it would have to be a four foot, and the six foot would be around the four. That that's correct. Right. All right. It seems to be need to tweak a little bit. That would seem. Well, go ahead. I just wanted to ask you, Councilman, isn't it possible? Steve obviously wants to put a pool in it. He wants it bigger than a soup bowl. Can he get some kind of a Variants? Well, you could always request a variance from the board, sure. Okay. That's what he's got to do, unless the law changes. I think, but if, when it comes down to it, there, there are two intents, and, and Council um, President um, Palmer, if you have any thoughts on this, but maybe you can the plan of variance. There, there were two intents here. The one intent is to eliminate, as we've indicated, the, the tunnel effect. And for those who uh, may have not heard this before, Right now, you're allowed to have a six-foot fence up against your property line, and that typically is two feet off the sidewalk. So a person right now on both sides of the street, whether it's beach or, or any street, could run a six-foot fence along that property line, usually two feet off the sidewalk, to the end of the property line and around. And, and the planning board was actually looking at a specific project over on New uh, and Spruce? Myrtle. Myrtle, thank you, New and Myrtle. And the planning board said, wait a second, this idea of putting the fence up against the sidewalk is going to make it really appear narrow. Purpose of zoning is to promote property values. We didn't see how that was going to promote a property value improvement. So it was like, all right, let's, let's not allow a six foot fence in a side yard. All right, so where are you allowed to put it? Well, even with your building lines. The idea of a pool is not discussed. Um, the second intent regarding the six foot fence is safety for basically to prevent children from climbing a four-foot fence and drowning in a pool. I think both intents are valid, and I, I, I understand what Steve is saying. And I understand it does affect corner properties. I, I've been sitting and debating the whole time. I would still advance the ordinance, and if the person believes they cannot reduce the size of the pool, because you either reduce the size of the pool, or you request a variance. Right, but, but it's obviously the result of a corner lot with a pool could be a four-foot fence. And they separate six foot fence around the pool. Yes, sir. That's what it will be. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Anyone else wish to be heard regarding ordinance 14 03? There's seeing no one else. We have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance 14 03. So moved. A second. Second. We now have a motion to adopt ordinance 14 03. I'll make that motion, Mayor. Okay, we have a second. Second. Any further discussion from the council? Roll call, please, Ms. Ariana. Can I make one comment before we go to roll call? It felt like the 
uh, comment chance was a little short there. Um, could I say that now? Yes, okay, thanks. I would just like to say that it's a tough situation, obviously. I've heard a lot of discussion back and forth, but considering uh, former Councilman Blaufetter's um, situation and him bringing this issue to light, part of me just wishes there maybe it could be revisited or tweaked. Um, so I guess there's already been a motion and a second. It's probably not the proper time to table it. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm inclined to vote no. I understand. We, we can, but it can always go back to the planning board. I mean, we can adopt it and say to the planning board, hey, further thought, nobody's going to be putting in a pool next month. Right. You know, the planning board. I don't think so. Not at this point. Maybe there's weather. Um, but I mean, we can Wait. certainly do that. We can say to the planning board, hey, here's something that none of us thought of. Take a second look. But I would still advance the order. I, I personally, I would feel more comfortable sending it back to the planning board. I know this, this particular ordinance has been quite tedious for us as a council, but that's my inclination. So if I'm able to make a motion to table now, I'll do that and see if there's a second. If not, I understand. I'll second that. Okay, Mayor, it looks like we're voting on the motion to table again. Yes. Okay. A motion to be made and second to table. And if it sends back to the planning board, um, roll call, please, on that. Council President Palmer? Yes. Council President Palmer? No. Councilman Martin? Yes. Councilman Matthew? No. Councilman Nierstead? No. Councilman Petrozelli? Yes. Council, Councilman Disco. Yes. There's no button on here. It's pass or fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's not correct. Goes to the mayor. Yes. Mayor. Well, what the mayor um, thinks is that uh, I would vote yes to pass the ordinance. There is a remedy in place at this point in time. Um, so. So is that a no to table, Mayor? Right. right. 